Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and welcome back to our awesome Overwatch highlights show. Today we're going to take a look at the week one stage two highlights. There are some insane plays, especially watch out for the Zenyatta blocking the Reinhardt charge. It is so goddamn cool. Let me know guys what your favorite play is in the comments below. Oh baby. On the opposing side, so he should be able to just kind of rain down a ton of damage uncontested. Tvik is taking a breather. He's getting, he wants healing from someone. Zuba actually managed to get Mecho D Mech, but Tvik. Oh! Are you kidding me? Get out! That's disgusting! Straight at Libero from long range. Okay. Matt is now ahead for the moment. Now they lose Sharp or Great Dive from XQZ to take him down. That's one tick already for Dallas. Standing strong on the point, Fissure falls, and Gladiators just in complete disarray here. Goodbye hydration again, AKM taking out everybody. That would have been a 6k for him if Shaz hadn't dived off the edge. <laughs> well, that was great play from the Dallas Fuel. The Gladiators start things off. Sorry, EQO. I had it in my head forever. It was actually. I mean, it's, it's just, it just makes sense. <laughs> it just makes sense. Maybe he's got something against casters. You know, just wants to make life difficult. Oh, who does it? Nah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, here we go, man. The man we were talking about, the man in question, making sashimi out of two already, and a third, and a fourth. All right, making a statement. EQO going to work. And is that just aggression? Uh, they're gonna be stymied on their first attack. I feel like it's you already with a shatter too. This is scary. I wouldn't want to punch Reinhardt in the head with my bare fist. That sounds very painful. Doom fist, rocket fist loaded up. Oh, he gets pinned. Mooma coming back down the stairs. Gamsu oh, meanwhile. No. Manibus, that's a oh, big one. Oh no! Oh, play of the game! Oh, a curve. <laughs> oh you man! Be, <laughs> that is the absolute worst place to be. To get Earth shattered. Luma is still somewhere up top. Yeah, he's up top. He's waiting to jump down at the last second and stall out this car. Wait for his team. Hey, yeah, he's still hanging around here. He's got the self struck right up into the open. The shield is down. He gets broken as well. And there you go. It couldn't have been better. Quad kill, or might as well be. Nevix will die after he gets DMAC. That self destruct was money. Saw the Winston. A bit like how Widowmaker can change it in a blink of an eye. There we go. Carpe and EQO. But Carpe with the two monster kills, and he continues to do the damage. Three kills for Carpe, and now he's going close quarters, and he pinning Gamsu to the wall. No worries at all for this man in question. Striker desperate to get back into it, and he will. Able to buy a little bit more time here for his team. They are making pro. Oh my god, Carpe! Carpe! Alright. Let's see, and it's just so patient. He hits the headshot there as well, continues. I don't think he's missed a shot yet. The man is a monster. Rascal down, hydration with an early kill there. Both DPS, Both DPS taken very out. nice. Oh, and that's gonna just be a boot from hydration to take down Mickey. Barrage coming in to clean this one up, and I think that's gonna be Gladiators getting some control percent building. That was uh, some nice patience. Way more people, no shields. <laughs> it's their shatter time. Kalios now, it's Graviton Surge time, I think, for him. Gonna wait, oh, he uses it. Oh, then they have to rift higher and a half. No comes back with two. What is going on? Very up? passive first point holds. Yeah, really not willing to, to commit to this. Gamsu, however, falls to the hands of Poco. And well, there we go. That's a big target for EQO to find out of position. Dreamcast for hanging around just a bit too long. Will get punished, and EQO. Three quick kills for him. <laughs> that's a reflect kill into the corner. He knew exactly where the remaining members were. He knew that that's going to be a volley that comes out from Nako. The best Zenyatta's in the world do most of their kills through those alternative fire volley of shots. Up a level to do some proper fighting. And he'll be just forcing logics here. Oh, he's stuck. He gets stuck. He doesn't have his recall. On. Cool down for two more seconds. Jazz and Fisher. A little bit on his own, trying to go after Effect, getting a little bit low. Oh, Effect down, Shaz finish him off. Now AKM on the high ground though, gotta have that attack visor, gotta use it. Nice transcendence from Harry Hook to try to keep him alive, and there's a transcendence coming in from Shaz as well. Nano visor used, but they can't do the damage through the Zen ultimate. Harry Hook falls, but there goes Big Goose and Shaz. AKM says, I don't need the ult, I don't need the nano boost. I just need my left click and he will use it. Dallas, feel yeah, you, you try to graviton before they can stop you from getting the, from uh, contesting the payload rather. 
Dante has not that diva though. Only 35 charge. It's gonna be difficult to get the damage. Rip there coming in now. Graviton does get used. I think that might have got deep. Oh, oh, and there's the double kill. He gets sleepy and Dante. Huge play from Hydration. And that's a massive fight for the Gladiators. They'll win it right here. King's Row goes to them 3-0 in this series. They'll take the match. Possible now for London. They just lost everybody. There's gonna be no one here to really be able to contest in any meaningful way. Meaningful. Yeah. There's always profit. Yes. But you can contest, but he's gonna be one before you actually team X Mecco. All right then, Profit. Prove me wrong. I'll take it. Wait, he's still alive. Yeah, they're able to get back in here, and both tanks are now out of this mix. Profit saving the day. A beautiful stick on the closer, though, as CPOB equalizes. That could make the difference. Profit still dancing. It's gonna be the dual oh, mono oh, oh. on mono. And already Profit finding the one on mono. This is big. CPOB has gone unbelievable. All right. I've learned my lesson. I think I've called two fights short this entire set. These two teams I cannot do it with because both these teams will contest every bit of the way and then they've just got miracles in her in these narrow corridors. And wow, Linkster knows he crazy. doesn't have to go very far. So one pick with the May could be the difference here. Yeah, this is nuts right now, man. I mean, we're into overtime and Boston has a ton of ultimates to use coming into this one. Kalios is flanking with the Graviton right now. He's coming all the way around the back. That could be big. If he can get there in time, the payload nearly to the point already. Now Graviton's there it is. for Houston. They're gonna force him off there. Apocalyptic team fight coming in. Note gets Rockus with the self-destruct. Houston loses one. They need to win. Oh, that or shatter from Mooma may have done it. Neko falls. Note. No more shield for him, man, on that D.Va. He's super low, but Gamsu charges right back in again. Brock is trying to keep people up with that transcendence as he comes back. No, he's just swapped onto the Moira to get to the point instead. And Houston trying to grind this fight out. They nearly have it. There goes Kellex. The payload is moving. I don't think Boston can stop them. Houston will win King's Row. What a crazy... On the floor. Jonak gets in front of him to body block and actually takes the pin. And the concussion mine comes down at the same time. So let's rewind this and see how fast it actually happened. Because Gesture was behind them before they even realized. They had no clue he was there. And so we play this through. The support line have milliseconds to adapt. Jonak jumps in front, takes the bullet. Get down, Mr. President! And then the concussion mine blasts him away. We, sh we showed great. you so many Zenyatta kills. That is a top tier Zenyatta play. Yeah. Just... He really just tickled him here. He can't make a huge impact, so he doesn't want to commit. Now might be the time, though. The sound barrier has expired, and he has those close quarters where it really makes sure that he can connect with as many of these targets as he can with those fists. And he's got two, both deer and undead, and knocked sideways by the fists. And that's what he was looking for. That's why he waited until the sound barrier had expired. The Morning Star reigns, and he gets three to bring his team back into this. Man. That is one big saddle he just put on to get his team on his back there. Huge plays from Sabiobi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Deep paid all the way in. Oh, style from Zodak! Sick sleep! New York, the city that never sleeps. Not the same for London. Take a nap, take a siesta. Bye bye. Or need to be careful, they're gonna give the Nana Boost to Nomi here on the shock side of things. Doc falls early though to a pick from Dak, and it looks like Nomi trying to just get the back lines and disrupt things. He's on the sure for now. I don't really love on this map on the defensive end, just so spread out. Rascal will play Sombra on offense here. Undead will play the Sombra on D, so they actually get control of the opposing teams to make a health pack here early. One for one. We see or See Rascal there, I'm going to pick off Undead, who was very low. Perhaps Undead translocated back close to the health pack. And that turned out pretty well for Zol. Isoon is still alive, and we see Jayhawk chasing him down on the backside of the point right now. He's going to recall again. Oh, oh my, what a shot! Yeah, that's Jayhawk, man. That's Jayhawk. <laughs> what a shot there on the recall. Great predict. But he knew where he was going to be. Yeah, it will stagger the spawn a little bit. But meanwhile, Valiant have been working up all their ultimates right now. There isn't going to be an EMP to start this next fight. But that EMP, when they were all in that room, pushed them back, and the EMP was great execution. That smart tracer, you may not think she's great against tanks, but they farm her pulse bomb so often, and they're such easy targets to hit. London should be trying to kind of cavalcade this into let's use Earth Shatter one fight, and then we'll use Zarya on the next fight, and you can kind of stagger those ultimates. I wonder where this nano is going to go for New York. Oh! No way! Unbelievable! He gets knocked out of the path! Gesture definitely thought he was going to have the charge there and the pin, but it wasn't meant to be. 
So there you go, guys. I'm Salos from This Is Unit Lost. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then let me know what you think about this in the comments below. We are go I know I say this every video, but we're going to try and make this series better. I just need to kind of find the time to do it. But I think it's awesome as it is because we get to see the best plays from the best players in the goddamn world, ladies and gentlemen. Something awesome always happens with Overwatch League. So stay tuned for this, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.